We are excited to uh, be invited to come and talk to everybody about cancer screening and prevention um, that you can do to really help reduce your risk of, of finding cancer. The earlier that you find a cancer, um, obviously the better. Uh, the earlier stages is gonna lead to a more positive outcome. I was going into year two um, and it was in OTAs and I, I, I kind of know the feeling when you're an athlete, you kind of know like the build up, like where you kind of should be. And I felt like I was going the opposite direction. Like I just felt more tired. My, my strength gains weren't what they were. And then I kind of just had this nagging like cough that was coming on and it progressively got worse and worse and worse and eventually one day at practice out of OTAs we uh I could barely breathe I just couldn't get anything I pretty much passed out on the field you know they picked pick me up they're like what's going on I kind of told them like how I've been feeling and they said all right you need to go to the team doctor right now the team doctor said one listen to my lungs and he goes go to the emergency room, get an x-ray, which led to an MRI, which led to a PET scan, which led to a biopsy, which led to ultimately a, a diagnosis. They just said, hey, we gotta, we gotta go right now. Um, and at that point, uh, they said every day or every hour kind of matters. So by the time I got diagnosed, I was getting chemo less than 48 hours later. But you don't ever think like, oh man, that maybe this is the case. Like I, that was the last thought that I had. But I say anybody that has anything that's lingering or progressively not getting better, you know, everybody kind of knows their body a little bit. If it's something just doesn't feel off, go get scanned because, or go get check the checkup because, like at least for me, with every hour and days mattered. Like it's all about giving yourself the best possibility to, to to win. It was really hard, you know. I I went through three years of chemo. It was basically a year of um, intensive treatments and then six weeks of radiation and another like two years of like maintenance chemo. And I lost, you know, through the course of like 50, 60 pounds, you know, like at some points you have no hair, you know, you're you're looking in the mirror, you can't, don't even recognize who you are. You're thinking, how am I gonna get back to you know, playing on this field? And that was a that was a mountain to climb and it took it took a while, especially in this league. Day by day and just keep you know, keep climbing, just inch by inch, just like it is when you're going through the fight. You know, I hope it gives people that are going through the fight a little bit of hope because I know when I was going through it, you know, you, you, you draw strength from other other fighters and other people that have beat it and then gone on to do incredible things. And, you know, I just hope that my battle and my journey could, could provide some hope for people that are fighting a good fight. We're gonna ring the bell. Can you see it? Okay, wait, wait. I just hit the five year mark last year. So yeah, yeah, thank you, yeah. That's a big one, that's a big one. I don't like to give cancer any credit for anything. You know, I, I, I feel like it takes so much from us and cancer didn't make me strong. It didn't make me, didn't make these people love me. It wasn't any of that. Like that strength was, was there. That strength was something that is in all of us.